Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. Um, I just had a couple of requests if I could do a video of Tiger sort of now in 2015 versus his 2000 swing. Um, he's obviously talked about going back to his sort of old swing from actually prior to 2000, sort of, you know, 98, 99 or more in that era. So I thought I'd just take a quick look at sort of some of the similarities and if there were still any differences. So, you know, we can start with the posture. I think relatively similar. I think on the the left hand side in 2015, his his arms are sort of hanging underneath his body a little bit more there. Just in terms of the angle from the right shoulder through the the forearm relative to on the left hand side, the the arms are sort of hanging down underneath his body a little bit more there. Um, as he starts to take the club away, he's definitely you know, a wider movement than we saw a year or two ago with his arm staying more in front of his body. I think it's on a very similar line to what we were seeing in in 2000 in relative to the, the club to the hand and the position of the, the arms. Um, as his arm plane continues on, I think in 2015, you're going to see his arms more through the centre of his chest. His arms the 2000 era stayed very much sort of in front of his toe line to halfway back and you'll see that if we just drop a line straight down from his butt end of the club and look relative to his feet you can see that his arms are a little bit more in the centre of his chest there and then as he works up at sort of a similar frame you can clearly see his arms are a little bit more behind him and then he'll work into a similar place. Tiger's hitting, it looks like about an 8-iron on the right-hand side, maybe a 7-iron a on the left-hand side. So he's slightly shorter on the, the right-hand side there, and I think a lot of that is due to the, the club. I think one of the, the big differences that stands out still, and I know in the, the Masters coverage, uh, Butch was talking quite a lot about how he liked the improvement in Tiger's backswing but still felt he was moving down too much. I know when I used to take lessons with Butch's son Claude, you know, they were always talking a lot about not losing too much height in the downswing because that really narrow the swing radius. And then we would tend to lean back through the ball, which you're seeing with Tiger, and hit some pushes and, and hitting some hooks. So one of the things definitely stands out to me is that if we look at his footage on the right hand side in 2000 he's very much retaining his height to the the top there was no moving down of the head or chest before he reached the top and I know in this year he's doing a lot of swings where he was swinging to the top stopping making sure he retained the height and then there was a move down after where you're going to see on the left hand side here his chest and his body is going to get moved down before he reaches the top and now he's going to press down even more um, so into impact he's definitely lower than he was in 2000 you know, he's definitely got a pronounced movement down still on the right hand side but most probably about an inch two inches less and I think one of the big differences is that he's not moving down you know, until he reaches the top of his swing. The other area that really stood out to me, and I've noticed this for the last few years, is his forearm line. It's not something very rarely talked about, but something with um, the Ledbetter coaches I've worked with, they will really monitor. So if you look at uh, Tiger in 2000, look how the gap between his forearms is much smaller than what we see in 2015 and now due to that the club is a little bit more in front of his body you know something I've worked on in my own game if the forearm line looks a long way right very tough for the path you know to be neutral it tend to be a little bit too into out and we're block and pull draw the balls and it's something I see definitely in better players so so he now comes down into impact just prior to impact really they talk about the forearms creating a, a silhouette. We shouldn't be seeing lots of the left forearm um, above the right. So 
in 2000 and you can see the forearms are very much matching his shoulder line on the, the left hand side his forearms are clearly stuck and looking to the the right hand side and that's really the, the two big areas that I see there's definitely more movement down and now d due to that movement down early he's leaning back more and so then the forearm line tends to look more to the right and then there'd be uh, hooks and and pushes.